Hello, dear viewer, and welcome to the Lunar Nebula Art Channel with me, Brian, aka Jalanon. And I'm actually thinking of working on a thumbnail for my reading channel. I'm going to try to make a vector art version of Brandon Sanderson's picture right here. I'm going to try to do some things to the text as well. So like right now, it's an aerial. Uh, looking up stuff online, some people think Adobe Caslon Pro is the font used in the Way of Kings. And I'm thinking maybe I've got something like it. Apparently not. <laughs> so I might look that one up real fast. But yeah, other than that, we will also make this a white. And then we'll give it a drop shadow. So we're doing that. We're going to go to outer shadow. We're going to go over here to radius. And we're going to offset that. And we're going to change the intensity. So it's pretty intense as a shadow. Let's maybe make that a little bit better. Okay, so now we've got a shadow. The question is, it might be... I think it's better right around there. Because then it's not peeking out so much around the top left. And it looks like the light's coming this way. So that's my current theory. I should probably also get a background set up. Now if I go into here in vector layer, I'll go under here, and then let's look up something like, well, I don't know, galaxy. Why? Because Brandon Sanderson is out of this world. Actually a very good author. I'll talk more about it in the future, I think. Let's try something like this. He is trying to get more into sci-fi, but he's traditionally an epic fantasy guy. He also likes to poke fun at himself for writing giant books. Let's see. Yeah, we can do something like this. But his books usually all take place in the Cosmere, which is like his own universe. So also pretty cool, because they're all kind of connected. You know what? We'll stretch that out a little bit. There we go. And so for that, we've got a shadow underneath the white. And we might be able to do a glow on this one. Do we want a glow? Or do we want the white still? Because we might just copy this whole thing in terms of style. Hmm, for now, let's try to do an outer glow. Let's see what it looks like. Hmm. I don't hate it. But I don't love it. Can you turn down the intensity? Hmm. Alternatively, we could do something very similar. We'll turn off that outer glow for now. Go to this outer shadow. And instead of multiply, we could do lighten. Do something similar as before. Instead of that, we go with white. Author profile, branded sentence. We do that whole thing. So it's basically the same thing, but in reverse. And by reverse, I just mean it's white. Hmm. Oh, profile. So we can turn that off, try that. I think I like the glow better than the outer shadow thing. As cool as that feels, though. It does feel interesting. But it doesn't really match with the stuff below it. So, you know... Sometimes you just stick with what works. Let's paste that style. Hmm. Paste to fix. Change you to white. Okay, and then we may need to mess with the effects a little bit. Make them the right size and everything. The profile. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so let's make that not that big. Around there. Hmm. Maybe you do need more intensity. Just so the author profile part stands out a little bit better. Hmm. And when in doubt, zoom out. And I first made it a 1080p thumbnail, and then I remembered YouTube likes 720p for its thumbnails. At least at my current level. Hmm. 
So yeah, author profile does stick out better that way, but mm, doesn't necessarily look great. Okay, mm, I'll decrease that again. Hmm. Okay, good enough. Then we want to go into our vector version of brain in space. And we don't want to group it, we want to do that. Okay, so now we're going to try to vectorize brain in space by just using the pen tool and stuff. All right then, let's get into it. Let's get our pen tool. We will use a fill. Um, let's try to go with something sort of purpley, I guess, for now. And then we will make it like 50% opacity. Yeah. So we're going to try to start with the bottom layers first. So with that in mind, let's try to do something like this. Get that ridge going. All right. And this will all be underneath like the neck and everything. So there's that bit. There's that portion. All right. And then, you know what? We can just duplicate that. And now we're going to carve out of here. And this bit. If it'll let me. Come on, there we go. So now we can do stuff like this. Perhaps we should change the color. Okay. And we'll take you, move it up here. Change that to smart. Okay, for now that'll work with that. Try to add another node here. Do that. Okay. And then on top of that, we'll do the neck. Because once again, we're thinking in layers, or we're trying to be approximating what would make sense here. Clearly we are going to have to change that neck. All right, and that. We can just delete this node. There we go. All right, why is that like that? There we go. Okay. And yeah, we could even pull that out maybe a little bit further. Something more like that. Okay, pull you in. Delete that node. Okay. Now we have a neck. All right. And then we are just going to create this on top. Nope. Never mind. All right. Then we do the face. Try to add these curves in when we get here, just to see if that might make things a little faster in the long run, but honestly, it doesn't seem to. Okay, so we've got an ear. Let's go ahead down here around the sideburn. And then we're basically just mapping out the head. With that. There we go. All right. Yeah, we're going to need more nodes for the face there. Well, we've got the basic head shape. And for that, let's make it more of a blue. Just so that we can tell what's what. And then on top of this, we can put the hair. That's my current thought process. 
And I think this vector layer is empty. So I'll just do that. Yeah. I'm liking the overall feel of this, I think. And I might even keep this blue color for Sanderson's skin. We'll see. We'll see. I might make his shirt dark purple or something. I don't know. Kind of the inspiration and reference for this are the portraits in the thumbnails of the Affinity channel. So feel free to go check them out. They've got some great videos up. Uh, they basically had several professionals do some videos during the beginning of all this crazy 2020 stuff. And yeah, they're pretty good. So let's see, we've got our new layer for the hair. Let's start trying to make some hair. So first things first. I think what we're going to do, well, let's make the hair just pure black for now. Yeah. But basically what my thought process is, is we make this hair shape and then I may go back in with the Apple Pencil and try to do just general strands within this. That is my thought. Don't know if it'll work or not yet. And yeah. There we go. So we can move this around. We're going to add a few nodes in here. That way we can do this. I'll make it sharp. We can pull it up around the ear. Hmm. I might delete that note. There we go. All right. So we're doing a little bit of finagling here. Okay, turn those into smart nodes. Kind of do something like this. All right. Yeah. And what we could do is even bring the face to the forefront and covering up the hair potentially. Hmm. Different ideas. Okay. Let's do that for now. All right. And then once again, once this is all done, we can figure out just what we want to do to kind of make individual strands if we want to do that, or not. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, if you're just getting started with Brandon Sanderson, I'll talk about this probably more in my Lunar Nebula reading channel, but I would probably recommend Way of Kings if you like epic fantasy. If you're into young adult books, hmm, probably Alcatraz Smedry because you probably won't want to stop with just one. If you're okay with just reading one, then I'd recommend The Rhythmatist because he's still working on that series. But, uh, yeah, Alcatraz Smedry. That series, I think, is even done. I haven't read the last book in that. I think there's five books now. I only read the first four. So I need to get on that. Oh, yeah, a lot of people like the Mistborn series because it's amazing. So, you know, can't blame them for that. I'm going to bring that up there a little bit. Okay. We can kind of finagle this stuff, too. Finagle. The word of the day. Does it mean what I think it means? Let me know in the comments below. Because I think it does. But I could be wrong. That's the thing about words. They can often have their meanings messed with. And or, if you're just picking them up from context, maybe you have the wrong context. <laughs> No, don't do that. Do this. There we go. All right, you become a smart node. Okay. So we can just kind of keep working on this stuff. Oh, wow, that's a weird node. Hmm. What if I just turn you smart? Not good enough. Got it. We're going to put nodes around it, so then when we delete that, 
we still have a decent idea of what to do there. I'm gonna make you straight. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a better brow shape. Okay. So we've done that stuff. And for the neck, we could just make it. Yeah. We'll just make it this blue color. Already. Alright, it's a little bit different in color, so I think that'll work. And then we got the black here. So there's that. All right. Okay. So there is once again that. And I think actually what we're going to do is use white for the highlights of the hair to make it look like there are strands in there. Hmm. Yeah, and then for these strands that kind of go to his forehead, we can use black. Okay. I think that'll work. Hmm. Anything else we need to do? Of course, the glasses and the eyes. So let's get that set up. Alright then. We'll do the eyes first since that'll be underneath the glasses. Let's try to do that. And then do that. We'll make these white. Something along this line. Maybe just make it smart. Okay. It seems to work. Alright, so we've got that. There's that first eye. We'll probably have to use the pin tool separately on all these eyelashes and things. If we even go into that much detail. I think we'll just do this. Get rid of that fill. Yeah. Increase that stroke. Okay. Hmm. I need to pull that in. And that. Okay. We can do that. And then we'll pretty much just duplicate it. And we can kind of maneuver it around the eye as we desire. We can do something like that for now. The glasses will cover up a lot of it, so, you know, we'll see how that goes. For now, the second eye apparently needs a new little selection. Here we go. Alright, so we did that. And I think what I'm going to do is actually this first. There we go. Yeah, so we made this eye and its eyelashes, and folds and things, all like that. Okay. Let's get another selection started. Okay. Go in there. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're definitely going to have to mess with that. Make that white. I want it to be more of a blue-white, I think. Alright. Let's go ahead and make a note here, delete that. Note here, delete that. No, oh, you can kind of cheese it like that. Sweet. I wondered. Okay. So we did that. Let's make that smart, maybe. Hmm. Let's get rid of that eyelash that's supposed to be on top. Hmm. And we'll get rid of that. Okay. It's a little hard to see. Okay. So we're going to pull this in a little bit. Alright.
So then we've got that eye. And we have this. And that seems to work pretty well. Just pull that a little bit further. Make that a little more angled. Okay. You got that. Hmm. And I think we're going to duplicate that. Try to get that secondary fold of skin up here. All right. So we've got that. And then we can work on some glasses. We've got the eyes there. Now let's go to glasses. Mm, we'll use that. And for now we'll go purple. Okay. Nope. I had the eye selected. Mistakes were made. Alright, we'll do this. Then that. And then either we can try to just manipulate the stroke width and just make the line match with the glasses themselves, or we will do the pin tool for every portion of the glasses. We'll do that. I think this will be better in the long run. We can kind of mess with this more. Okay. We want this to kind of go behind the ear. Smart node. Okay. Bring that through. That right about there. Hmm. Make that node. Okay. Here's the basic shape of the outline that glasses that'll strut for the ears. And then, once again, we can use the pen tool here. And I'm thinking, yeah, I might do what I did for my Fire Emblem character, which is another video if you are interested. I'll try to make my avatar look kind of like a Fire Emblem character. So, do that. And we definitely need to manipulate these. Alright, turn that off. that going. Let's try to delete that. Yeah, that trick seems to work decently well. Make that a smart node. Pull that in a bit. Okay. So we got that. Excellent. Okay then. So that'll work, and then we could just duplicate that if we want to mess with one version more than the other. All right. And then, you know what, let's do this other strut first, I think. Yeah. There we go. Let's make this. Black for now. Yeah. Okay. And then the other frame. Try to match that. There we go. Let's 
Okay. And then we're going to have to mess with it. Boink. Boink. I'm just surprised at how well that worked. Hmm. Got that. I have to move it back into place. That's not the worst thing ever, though. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll have to do this in a more minute way. There we go. Uh, let's move it down a little bit. All right. And then for the frame, we want this one to be white as well. We'll duplicate that. And then above both of those, I'm going to put the bridge of the nose. So we'll do something like this. Get rid of that fill. Hmm. We'll put that like right there. It may seem rounder to me than what I put down, so we'll do that. Okay. And then now, just for a glimpse of... <laughs> oh dear, that's actually kind of fun, just right there. Oh, maybe we make Brandon Sanderson look cosmic. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions. Okay, so we've got the glasses all set together. I should include the struts. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So we got that. Then we got the eyes. Then we got the hair. Got the face right there. Okay. So maybe black hair is a bad idea here. Hmm. Or we just lighten up the background a bit. That could work. If I could get rid of that. This is basically what our Brendan Sanderson is looking right, right now. Hmm. Yeah, we want the face like that because we're going to pull some more strands of hair in there. But, you know what, we can still mess with that. Okay. We'll pull it in a little bit. Try to not leave any white spaces. Make that smoother. Same with you. Okay. Yeah. So it's not going to look maybe perfect, but I think it'll work. I think it's more obvious it's a Brandon Sanderson silhouette than otherwise it could have been. Now, because these frames are white, the eyes aren't showing up so well yet, but we're just going to make them transparent in the future. Okay, so progress has been made. Let's continue. Also, I should make the strut black. Black. Okay. That'll probably blend in a lot with the hair, unless I make the hair more of a purpley color. Like a dark purple. Hmm. Maybe we mess with that for a second. All right, hair. If that is your real... We can make it like a dark purple. Okay. Yeah. And then with that, we're probably just going to make a few strands using our brush tool. Vector brush tool. So let's pull back the Sanderson image. All right. And then we can clip the white lines that we're going to do in here. All right, so let's see, just to get an idea, that seems pretty large. Let's decrease the size to about here, I think. Delete that one. Hmm. Wow, even more. Okay. Hmm. You know what? I think we're going to go out here, change the opacity so that we can really see it. Okay. Hmm. Even further. Let's go with something like, oh, 1.2. 
Let's again pull it out. Hmm. Okay, point five. Let's get the controller on here. Maybe. No, we'll get a stabilizer. Like that. Okay. So let's change the color here. I'll do that. Swap that. Get rid of that color. Make it more that color. Hmm. We need to set it to more of a white. I mean, that would probably work. Hmm. Let me try something like here. There we go. I think that's what we want. And then we can go down to advanced. Let's do something like, oh, I don't know, we'll do that. Hmm. The stabilizer, window stabilizer, rope stabilizer, and then that. Controller. Okay. Yeah, it should let me do this, right? Hmm. For some reason it's not. Okay. So I do not know enough about the brush tool, apparently. But okay. We'll keep doing that. Let's see, these should be the same color, right? Seem to be. Okay. So let's delete this one. Okay. We can try velocity real fast. So if we go slow to fast, what would it do? Slow. Nope. Not what I'm looking for. Pressure. With my settings, I don't think pressure is going to work too well. I'm not automatic. Pressure defaults? No. None. And then if we can maybe mess with it after that. Maybe after I move it. No. All right, well. So that's not working quite how I want. I'm going to do this. I'll just make a bunch of these pin strokes then, because we can maneuver these as we wish. I'll kind of do something like this, I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, pin tool. Currently, I like you better than the brush tool right now. Take that brush tool. Okay. So we've got this, we can kind of figure out some of these highlights a little bit. They don't have to be exact since, you know, we're just using it as a reference. I'll do something like that. We can flip this. There we go. Yeah. Stuff like this. Okay. And then if we just turn off the Sanderson picture, you can see how those highlights will look. Okay. And I may make them a little more transparent even. Or better yet, maybe we could try a Gaussian blur on them. Yeah. Let's just select all these guys. We'll group them together for now. And then effect, Gaussian blur. Let's see how that goes. Hmm. 
Not quite what I want, but it seems to work. Hmm. So that's one idea. We can turn it back on if we wish. Where's the other idea? Let's try you. We got the transparency tool. Let's go ahead and move you down here. Yeah, that's kind of more what I was thinking, I think. Hmm. Yeah. And then go into here. Turn down that version so fascinating. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right then, so we got that. I'm going to copy. Paste style. Yeah, and then all those little hairs have that opacity on them. I think I like that. We'll try it. Okay, let's get Sanderson's hair back up here. Because that should help us figure out where we can kind of just copy and paste this thing. Okay, stuff like this. You can kind of maneuver here. And then once again we're going to try to pull these into the hair itself. So they're going to be clipping masked into the hair. So even if we like maneuver these in a weird way where they're popping off the hair, it shouldn't matter too much. Let's see. Maybe. Yeah. Something more like this. I'll try to pull that in a bit more. Okay. You like to maneuver like that. Okay. Because why not? All right. And we're going to copy that. Can keep moving this stuff around until it kind of matches what we want. And with that, we can even delete some of these. Bada bang, bada boom. Okay. Put that one right there. Yeah, and then we have just a couple highlights on the other side. So let's duplicate that. Since we've only got a few, we can kind of figure this out, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can kind of cheat with that. And then a few. I'm going to move up here. And we're going to try and make this little highlight. There we go. Yeah. And with that... We'll just kind of do our thing. Okay. And I'll just make a few more. Make them smaller and stuff. Okay. Yep. Okay, so... We'll turn off this picture, kind of get a better idea of that. Yeah, it kind of works. Okay. All right. Hmm. And then he's got stringier hair at the sideburns. Hmm. So maybe we need to go for a brush with that. Let's see, what kind of brush would we potentially want here? Probably not acrylics, probably not dry media. Engraving, maybe? Mm. No. Probably not gauche. Gauche. However you say that. Creative ink? What do you do? Hmm. Maybe if we change that up a little bit. Let's see. Decrease. Nope. So I select you. 
it will not let me change it apparently. Hmm. Weird. Go with this. Ah, here we go. No. Yes. Okay. So we do something like that. Let's see. Hmm. So we could do something like this. Kind of do that. And then what I'm thinking is we simply duplicate. Group these guys. And these guys. And this one we will turn into the darker color. I think this might work. And you can do stuff like this. All right? In theory, you kind of maneuver that, get it looking a little patchier. Yeah. I think that kind of works. Okay. Just as an example, we've got that. Yeah, I think it gets a similar effect. It's not perfect, but it'll work. Okay. And then let's go back to the glasses real fast. Let's see, we're gonna decrease that one for now. Turn it off, basically. We'll turn on the transparency. Okay, and then depending on the stroke type, you can kind of see whether or not, yeah, here we go. It will cover up the stroke. And we'll increase the stroke of the glasses. I should probably double check with Sanderson himself. Sanderson, does that work? Close enough, maybe. We'll do that. Okay. And then let's see order. Yeah, I think that's the right order, isn't it? No, that's the correct order. So now our glasses frame looks like it's above the stroke because we can see through it. And the stroke goes behind it a bit. Yeah, there we go. That's what we were looking for. It'll be easier to see when I turn that off. So, let's go back to here. If we increase the stroke. Hmm. Should work how I want it to. So 1.2. Okay. Got this. Hmm. I think we want that. All right. And we can turn on this one behind it, get rid of the fill entirely. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that's basically the effect we want. We just need the right shape. So we go back to our good shape. We duplicate you. One of these, we get rid of this center part. All right. And then we also get rid of the opacity. So as you can see, now we've got that background where the frame looks like it's above it. Okay. Let's get rid of that transparency tube. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 100. 
Okay. Of course, the fastest way to have gotten rid of that would just go down here and uh, get rid of that. There we go. Let's see. Thickness of the glasses. I probably made that too thick. Okay. Hmm. All right. Also, that looked a little awkward. So yeah, we can decrease that thickness down to where we want it. So we'll do that. And then does that still work? Hmm. Hmm. So we'll go to the top lens. We'll decrease this stroke a bit. There we go. That way it won't look as awkward. There we go. All right. So there's that. And then, of course, we can copy that style. Copy. Paste style. And there we go. And then we just duplicate you. And then on this one, we go to none. And we get rid of the lens. We have that nice little effect. Go up to there. Okay, and then looks like I may need to mess with this frame a little bit more. Doesn't look quite straight. All right. Hmm. So with that in mind, let's sharpen that. Do that. Because sometimes you don't need to go with full realism. Okay. Yeah. Go down to here. And that should work. Okay. We'll pull up the sanders on again. Okay. Any other lines and things we think we might need? Yeah. So with that in mind, do we go just pure black for the lines? Hmm. Maybe. Okay. And then we can just duplicate that. Okay. And we'll move it the way we want it. Like that. We got a little bit there. Hmm. And we just make this permanently a little transparent. Maybe. Hmm. I'll think about it. Right. Let's go over here now. Okay. Not that. And I think we go ahead and make the nose. For that, we'll go back to this line. It's the darkness we want the nose to be. Why is this one so much darker? Oh, probably because the mouth is so much darker in the picture. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Go down here. I'll do that. that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Decrease that. And we can copy this. We'll flip it. 
and then adjust as necessary. Like so. Only better. Come on, do it better. There we go. All right. So we've got kind of the outside of the nose. Hmm. No. I think we delete this node and we remake it. Or we keep it like that. We do this. There we go. And then we can just duplicate that. Pull it in a little bit. We can make one version darker than the other. And then it's basically the internal portion of the nose. Okay. down to here. We'll pull this into our other line. So there we go. Looks like I moved the face over. Disc, disc. Face go back where you belong. Like there. Okay. Well, yeah, we've got all that stuff. We can lock the face in if we want. I think that's a good idea. All right. Hmm. So we can do the eyebrows. I'm going to try to make those purple as well, I think. Yeah. Then we still need to do the strains of hair on the forehead. Okay. So we've done some things. Okay. Hmm. I think we'll just do the hair strands like this. Okay. Hmm. Or we go back to the brush. And try it again. Right, simple ink. Pretty sure that's where we were. Hmm. Let's double check. Yeah, simple link. Okay. latest stroke, I think we can kind of just copy and paste. Okay. So we'll just kind of copy a bunch of these. Tweak the ends of those. Start messing with it a bit. So that it looks more like these other strings. Okay. You kind of copy a bunch of those as well.
So let's see. We got some strands of hair there. Hmm. So we could add some more. Okay. Yeah, it's generally looking like Sanderson, I think. Hmm. All right then. Let's try to change this color to this color. And then we can probably add a little bit of a shadow underneath. Okay, so we'll do that. Change this into a multiply layer. Multiply. Okay. Could just make it a dark layer. Turn down its opacity. And then we will clip it into the neck. All right. And the neck. I'm gonna have to figure out the proper color after we're all done. Here. This reminds me, the little hairs there should look more like the skin rather than white, I think. But hmm, maybe that works. Okay. I thought for another time, maybe, or for right now. Hmm. Let's change this color to that color. Yeah, I think that works better. Let's see. Okay. And that'll do. For the eyes, the affinity version, I think, is just a black overall iris and pupil, and then just a highlight in there. So since we're kind of going for that design, I think we do the same. All right. So with that in mind, Brandon could use your help again. Here we go. All right. Let's make a nice ellipse here. Put it into there. We'll make both of these black. Hmm. Why are we not becoming black? Because of the opacity. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we got that. And then we will duplicate you. And decrease your size. Turn you into a white highlight. Yeah. Okay. And then I think what we're going to do group those together. Duplicate. Move it over here to the other eyeball, clip it in there, and then we need to move it around. Let's see, something more like this, yeah, and then you will also go there. Right, put that there. Okay. All right, Brandon. So we got something like that. So, okay. I'm starting to like the look of this. Let's see. I think we'll make the shirt black. So you can be like that. We'll get rid of the stroke. And this thing will be the same color as the hair. We'll do that, right? Hmm. Maybe make it a bit lighter. Brandon, I need your help again. Yeah, it's more of a gray, that pattern. Hmm. I wonder if I can mimic that pattern with like a 
tone or something. Hmm. Let's see. Another idea could be duplicating this, clipping this into here. And then, if we turn that off, yeah, it keeps that pattern underneath. Okay, now we could just turn this maybe into a multiply, color burn, darker color, a lighten, screen, color dodge, add, lighter color, blah, blah, blah. We'll try hard light, maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. So we have options. And then these we want to move to over here. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we keep that pattern. What is this? Ah, that's the shirt. Fair enough. We'll move you. Under there. All right. Hmm. Can go with that. Move you up to here. And you, same thing. Okay. All right then, Brandon. I feel like we can make some good progress. Hmm. And if we turn off the opacity, or should I say turn it up, that's more of what we're getting. All right. Hmm. I think I need to desaturate the skin color. So for desaturation, go kind of this away. Okay. For the neck, I want the same color. There we go. Hmm. That multiply layer. We can mess with that a bit. Something closer to that. And then we can Gaussian blur it. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much a Brandon Sanderson vector art in the Affinity style. I did change some things by keeping that pattern underneath. I do like how that's looking though. We might change up the hair some more, especially with the sideburn thing. We need to change that to the proper color. Hmm. Why well, you know change to proper color? Guess we'll have to do it this way. Yoink. There we go. Yeah. So I think that works. There are some other things we may want to do, like add some more facial lines and things. But so far, I think that's pretty good, especially when you're trying to work on a thumbnail. You may want to use more time on the thumbnail, since that is what will draw people to actually watch and listen and stuff. Hmm. I would also change these hairs. So let's do that. Mm -hmm. I will go ahead and group these. Okay, and all of these little hairs. I'll group those. I'll change their color to the hair color. And we could make them a little darker. But no. So there we go. And got a little bit of a Brandon Sanderson, and I'll probably work some more on this before I post it as the thumbnail. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the overall feel of it. So thanks for watching, dear viewer. Let's get our cosmic background for the Cosmere. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking how that looks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like if you too enjoy this, or at least 
enjoyed seeing me try this. Yeah, yeah, subscribe to see more of our videos, and I hope you have a great day.